Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how you can take stunning nighttime photography images with your Panasonic FZ82. And this technique is suitable for everybody from very much beginner level to advanced shooters. So don't worry if you currently shoot in AI or P mode. This video will show you how anyone can take this camera out and come home with some really impressive shots. So I'm going to show you now the photographs I've taken this week and then we'll come back and I'll explain exactly how I did it. Now you may be wondering how a small cheap bridge camera with a tiny tiny little sensor can produce shots like that when surely you need a DSLR with a full frame sensor or at least an APS-C sensor to achieve those kind of low light performances. Then how about I mention that this camera doesn't have a bulb mode and even in manual shutter priority or aperture priority the longest exposure you can take is just four seconds so how then did i manage to achieve a 30 second exposure well locked away where many serious photographers fear to tread is the scene mode now on most cameras usually the scene modes are full of pretty naff settings however the FZ82 has some pretty decent options to choose from and the one we're going to use is setting number 15 the artistic nightscape so simply turn your mode dial around to scene select number 15 artistic nightscape and you're good to go and honestly you can seriously trust this camera to do a fantastic job so what else will you need well, it goes without saying, any long exposure work is going to need a tripod. That said, I would also consider the following. 
Firstly, I would consider visiting your chosen location in daylight. That familiarises yourself with the area and also you can safely scout out your compositions. Number two, timing is everything. So, for example, if you're going to shoot light trails, you might want to consider checking when peak traffic flow is and making sure that the hours of darkness match and you'll set yourself up for a good photograph. Obviously, this is less important if you live somewhere like a city because the traffic flow is generally higher there than if you live somewhere rural. Number three, consider bracketing your exposures. There's a handy little option in the FZ82 to do this. You can either choose from three or five brackets. Now, if I'd done this on the first location I shot at, which was the community centre, then what I would have done was to have chosen the five bracketing options. So two stops under as well as two over, and that would have given me the opportunity to probably get a better shot than the one that I did get where the highlights above the mural were blown out. So there you have it, my top tips for shooting nighttime photography using the little Panasonic FZ82. I must say I was pleasantly surprised with the results I got with this camera and I hope it inspires you to give nighttime photography a go with your own FZ82. So if you've really enjoyed this video or found it useful, then please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out an awful lot. And if you're not a subscriber already, please consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps motivate me to make more content like this. Now, thank you very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed it, why not watch one of my other videos? See you again next time. Bye for now.